This is Puccini's opera Tosca, and this is Cavaradossi's famous aria, E lucevano le stelle. E lucevano le stelle, and the stars were shining. Et olezzava la terra, and it smelled the earth. Stride all'uscio dell'orto, the door to the garden squeaks. Oh, sorry, I'm just reading the translation. I'm not sure if I would translate it this way. E un passo sfiorava l'arena, and a step grazed the sand. Oh my God, I need more poetry for that. No, what you have to imagine is that someone is sitting, starting to actually acknowledge nature around him, a garden, everything around, about it, and start to acknowledge the real smell, the, the fragrance. Right, let me continue. Entrava ella fragrante. She entered fragrant. Mi cadea fra le braccia. He fell into my arms. No, she fell into my arms. Oh, no, I'm just reading the translation. I haven't checked it. I, I read the lyrics, but I did not. I did not read the translation before I'm talking, so I'm just going to continue. Dolci baci o languide carezze. Sweet kisses or languid caresses. The thing is, he is in jail and he is remembering when he was with her. No, he was just about to be fusillated. Last moment, last breath of life, he starts to acknowledge life and how great it was, which at the time he probably did not acknowledge how great it was, but there he was. But just before he was fusillated from jail. Uh, murdered. Yeah, by officials. Okay. It's very pretty. To me, it's super pretty. Of course, it's a male area. And, well, I, I almost vocalized with this because you heard me. What I do, I I open the space. I did not really express that yesterday. Well, sometimes I miss out the words, I think. I open the space inside me. I made a really wide, wide, wide space. But since I have been studying, my voice is not in the back. It's in the front and in the space. And that's what has to be achieved. If it's only in the back, that it's not me, then you harm your voice. You have to achieve the space. Maybe it's an orange, or yesterday I said apple, but today I feel it's because I was thinking about a different aria. This is a male aria, and it's a it's a it's a it's an aria which Placido Domingo cannot sing over orchestra because his voice is not large enough, and Pavarotti cannot sing over orchestra because his voice is not large enough. It, it got lost in the orchestra when the, you know, when the culminating point comes and it's like, oh, how very interesting. When the culminating point comes, where for last time he in a way makes love to his girl just before that, in his imagination, in his remembrance, in his appreciation, what they once had. It's a way of love making. Well, not physically, but like I said, love making is, is so much more than physical. So when it comes to the culminating point, he's just not a <laughs> He just he cannot live up to the standards. So he would be eaten up by the orchestra. Pavarotti, Ming, the Placid Mingo, Domingo. I don't know. I don't know Rolando. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe he could make it. Maybe just making make, make uh, a penis. I don't know. Barely. I don't know. I let me think about it. I heard him in the audition and I heard him in the recital. I like his voice a lot, it's so warm. And the recordings, sure. That's right, I wasn't really enjoying his I mean I enjoy his voice when I listen to the recordings. But in life I never had the same emotion, how interesting. I was more I was that's very interesting because I remember what I remember and that was what I said, what I remember. But I wasn't impressed by the right. No one can live up to my yes. My day arrived <laughs> can live up to my standards. I said last night, finally I said it. 
I mean, this fuss about tenors when they get up, I explained that. There is the sound so strenuous when they come to that note where everyone says, oh my God, the passaggio. But it's like on the passaggio. They could, we could not write an, an alia, which would be on the most uncomfortable position for a tenor. So instead of doing what I just told you, I haven't finished up saying it though. They push, and it sounds strenuous. That's nice, not nice. Well, I explained it. It's like an orange, but it's like on that place, and it's like a Pac-Man. A Pac-Man is like a, 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 a closure, not the whole round thing. And you can't get over that line on the from left to the right. That's how I vision it. I have a visual about it. But it's a tiny space. You can get over it. And that's where your tenors are shown to go up to the passaggio. So it's what you have to do in order to be able to sing the higher note. But it's a male voice and it's a male aria and it's a round aria. It's it's a, it's not Rossini. It's not it, it, it's Puccini. It's a real Puccini aria. The Puccini place to be. The I think this is like the Excelsior space for Puccini. Among all the spaces of Puccini, Tosca is the thing in that opera. In every single one of the voices. So in order to get that, which is that Tosca, which is Cavaradosi, and which is even the baritone. Is it a baritone or is it a basso, by the way? Very deep, dark voice. Yeah, a basso, a voice. Swasta would never be able to sing, but um, Genaro definitely yes, because it needs that thing. So back to, okay. I resolved it. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. Who am I to say? I have a, a female voice. I can really tell you what I experience. Yeah, I haven't heard it, but I just sing it. I'm talking over it. Yeah, I'm gonna repeat that. I will, I will repeat the song here and make sure that the volume is right. Sometimes I, I'm checking on it and it sounds great, but then I listen to it later, I notice the music is still too loud. So I have to be more careful. I have to check on longer, maybe. No, I have been checking on things, but I'm, well, it turned out different. Well, because I care about quality, I don't just relax. I don't believe anybody. I trust when it feels right, no matter what anybody tells me. So I evaluate and I take what is good for me and I leave behind what is not. So I listen, yes. It never resonated to me all that fast. Yeah, John Dornemann did that. It seemed like the whole opera world would do that. What a tenor fuss that is. Or they make fun, they say, tenors don't fuck because they're too busy taking care of their boys. And sopranos may, but if you want to have a good sex, then you have to go with a mezzo-soprano and maybe a baritone. <laughs> so that's, the, that's the wordings in the opera world, okay? Yeah, you want to have a good fight, go with a mezzo. She's going to give out in plenty and abundantly. Soprano, well, the thing is there's so many different sopranos, so they're, they're not even in the picture. If you have a tiny squeaky voice, you don't have any sex. They're asexual. <laughs> there you go.